understand you, Louise. What do you want our son to get out of life? A good time or a bad time? A good time, of course. Well, that's what he's having, so what are you complaining about? But too much good time could lead to a bad time. Now, you know he's never carried on like this before. That's because we never had money before. So now, just go wake him up. He's going to be late for school. He's worrying about nothing, Louise. Well, I hope you're right. Jungle boogie, down the Oh, wait, get down, get down, get down. Hey, what's that, him off? Hey, Pop. Hey. Lionel, I thought you were still sleeping. What time did you get home last night? Well, what time is it now? 7.30. 7.30? You mean you were just getting in? Hey, it was a good party, Mom. Must have been a damn good party. <laughs> Don't you have no consideration for your mother staying out all night? Hey, Mom, you didn't even know I was out. Well, if I'd have known, I'd have been worried sick. <laughs> mm, okay, next time I tell you so you can worry. Don't be getting small with your mother. What can a 22-year-old do at a party until 7.30 in the morning? Same as a 45-year-old, except he doesn't get as tired. <laughs> George, speak to your son. All right. Listen, Ronald. Hey, look, Pop, if it bothers you, I won't go to any more all-night parties, all right? Good. See, that's all you got to do. <laughs> Too bad, though. I was just getting to know Clarence Jackson, the third. The Clarence Jackson, the third? Mm-hmm. Clarence Jackson, the third, with the first and second on a chain of five and ten. Yeah, he was at the party. <laughs> Woo! Wait, wait, his family is so rich, they got white maids just to pick up after the black maids. <laughs> Hey, well, I don't know about that, Pop, but the dude is a real jazz freak, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I told him about a couple of places in the village you never heard of. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, we was really getting tight, you know? Like, he was hanging on every word I said. Hey, Pop, I was the life of the party. <laughs> Clarence Jackson III. What do you know, Wheezy? The Jeffersons done arrived. Mm -hmm. Oh, and think I miss Clarence. Oh, we call him three for short. Uh -huh. Anyway, he's an all right dude, you know? And I used to think people like that were snobs. No, look, don't let me hear you talking like that. Snob is a poor man's word. When you get rich, there are no snobs. You know why? Why? Because when you got money, you're better than everybody else. <laughs> Do you honestly believe what you just said? No, but it's got to be something to it, because I said it. <laughs> Your mother doesn't understand these things. See, you making the right context and meeting the right people, that's important. Couldn't hurt. Later, Pa. <laughs> How about that? My son is friends with a millionaire. And your wife is married to an idiot. <laughs> What's your problem now, woman? You. You can't see further than them dollar signs in your eyes. And look what it's doing to life. What's it doing to me? We didn't raise our son to be a playboy. Even Grandpa Walton is a playboy to you. <laughs> the name Jefferson is gonna mean something in this town. We're on our way up. Well, don't forget where you came from, J. Paul Ghetto. <laughs> Watch it, honey. Now that we're into chips, we're gonna have to all make new friends. And we can pick them from the cream of the crop. There's a switch. Three generations ago, the only crop the Jeffersons were picking was cotton. <laughs> well, I got wise. You can make a hell of a lot more money out of cotton when you're cleaning it and pressing it. <laughs> George, you're giving our son all the wrong values. You don't know this Clarence Jackson he's mixing with. It don't matter, he's rich. I don't want money to ruin Lionel. Don't worry, it won't. Did it ruin me? <laughs> I gotta get dressed and open the store. When you're down there, why don't you get your hat blocked and leave your head in it? <laughs> oh, hello, Jenny. Come in. Good morning, Mrs. Jefferson. Lionel, Jenny is here. Would you care for some coffee? No, thanks. We're gonna be late for class. Good morning, sweetheart. Uh, Lionel, you're not even dressed. Yeah, well, I figured I'd pass on school today. What? Well, well why? Because? Because he was up all night being the life of the party. 